payment. Are there no better ways, security-wise? One thing I'd like to uh, bring to your attention is this. The area in which this Boko Haram element uh, are active is very large. So what we have is this. There are members of the multinational joint force in certain locations. Now, between the areas in which they are located, there are, what do I mean by that? You have the members of the Joint Task Force in Area A, for instance. Before you find another location in which there are soldiers, you may travel up to 50 or even 100 kilometers. That is the problem. Now, when you talk about rescue attempts, the skills required are very, very special. Because there you are trying to rescue someone. The first thing in that kind of open country, intelligence about where they are is not easy to come by. And so if you choose to launch a surprise attack, it is not likely to be successful. And so what can the multinational joint task force do? Also, do not forget that they gave government a warning. And so, if government capitulated, they probably would have gotten some money in exchange for those uh, aid workers. What is the implication of all of this uh, for aid workers? Because a lot of persons will say this will be discouraging for those who truly want to serve the people. What can government do to encourage people to continue to be aid workers for those who need their very vital help? The first point I want to make about that is the warfare is... Uh, Idiotic. That is not my own view. But that was to back an American general way. So, the, the Joint Task Force cannot assign efforts for aid workers. They don't even have enough people to fight anyway. So, my recommendation would be that if there is any aid worker in that area in which Boko Haram is active and in which now and again there are attacks, the aid worker must make sure that he or she does not go too far away from the location which is very, very secure. Wandering away from a location that is well protected, for me, is, is suicide. Now, what can government do? Number one, government will... Otherwise, if aid workers are killed, there are no replacements. Indeed, if I were to recommend to government, I will say, discuss with these guys. If they want a prisoner swap, what does that mean? That is, they can say to you, release five of our men who are with you. Then we will return the kidnapped aid workers to you. 
Or they can say, pay us amount of money. But quite honestly, I do not see how government can protect able workers who wander far away from lo the location of the joint task force. All right, Colonel. Thank you very much uh, for your contribution uh, to this conversation. Thank you so much. God bless you.